Apple enabled the emergency SOS via satellite feature on all iPhone 14 models today. And that means if you're ever in an area where you don't have cellular or Wi-Fi signal, you can actually get help by using satellite text messages and communicating with emergency responders. It's a pretty cool sounding feature that sounds like it's from the future, but it's here now. I'm Jason Cipriani, and in this ZDNet video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use emergency SOS via satellite and practice using it ahead of time. There's a couple of things you're gonna to need to make sure you have before you can use emergency SOS via satellite. One is an iPhone 14 model. That could be 14, 14 Plus, Pro, or Pro Max. Doesn't matter which one. They all have the ability to talk to satellites built in or send messages through satellites built into them. You also need to be on iOS 16.1 or newer. Now to be clear, Apple didn't release a software update when the feature went live, or there's not a separate app. It was just a switch they flipped on that told iPhone 14 models everywhere, well, in the US or Canada, that they can communicate with satellites now. So I had an alert badge on the settings app on my iPhone 14 Pro Max, and this 14 Plus I have here on the desk, that let me know that this feature is enabled uh, now, and that I can, sh or should, go in and, and turn on emergency contacts and set those up in the health app, which everyone should do, even if you don't have an iPhone 14. That way, if you ever get in an accident and fall, Emergency responders need to get hold of your loved ones. They know who to contact. And then it also let me know that I can communicate with satellites. So what does that look like? So according to Apple, what happens is, and I've seen videos that show this as well. If you're in an area, let's say you're in the mountains, you fall on a hike and you hurt yourself and you need rescued, you need help, but you don't have cellular service. In the past, you kind of were out of luck. Now, if you have an iPhone 14, what you do is you dial 911 like you normally would to try and get help. Your phone realizes you don't have signal or Wi-Fi, and it asks if you want to start a conversation with emergency services via satellite. You're going to see this circular radar-like icon show up on your screen that helps you navigate your phone or point your phone in the right direction to a satellite because you will need to point and at the satellite in order to achieve the best signal. Again, these things are 850 miles above Earth. It's not gonna be blanket coverage. You need a little bit of help. Once that's done, you'll then be asked five questions about the emergency you're currently in. Is it for you, someone else? Are you on a steep surface? surface? Are you in a cave? Are you underwater or in water? Stuff like that. Is someone hurt? Are you sick? And then eventually, that message will be sent to the emergency responders. If your local dispatch center accepts text messages to 911, cool, you're gonna to talk directly to a local dispatcher. If not, the system is smart enough to know that you're in an area that dispatch doesn't accept text messages. So your message will be routed to an emergency specialist who will then contact local dispatch and act as a go-between between you, the satellite, the messages, and dispatch. So you'll have a conversation basically asking you what's going on, help is on the way, letting you know, but also if you have emergency contacts set up, they will receive all the information that's going on, including updates to the conversation thread in real time. Now it's important that you always point your phone at the satellite. Without that, it can take a while to send, messages may fail, you may not receive responses. So make sure even if you're in the emergency situation that you're always putting your phone at a satellite and the phone does a good job at reminding you how to do that. All right, so what exactly does that look like? It sounds good, right? Sounds easy enough. Dial 911, hit a couple buttons, start a text message thread via satellite with emergency responders. But wouldn't it be nice if you could see what it actually works, how it works, see what it looks like? Well, you can. Apple actually built a demo mode into the iPhone 14 that connects, truly connects to the satellites, but instead of sending your messages back and forth to emergency responders, because we don't need to waste their time just saying, hey, testing, it intercepts that and it's an automated response and interaction. So you can get a feel for it and you can understand how it's gonna work should you ever get in an emergency situation. All right, so I moved outside because the demo would not work inside the building. And now, to be clear, the demo mode itself tells you to have a clear view, clear line of view of the sky, make sure you're not in any buildings, uh, trees can interfere with it, so it can confirm accurate. Try to use this feature outside if you're gonna do the demo. That way you get a good idea of what's going on. 
in an emergency situation, of course, you'll want to be outside. It's snowing, so I'm going to try to make this really brief. You probably can't see the flakes, but they're falling. Trust me. All right, so demo mode. To go into demo mode, I'm going to open the settings app, scroll down to emergency SOS, and then scroll to the bottom where you'll see a new emergency SOS via satellite option. Tap on try demo, where you'll now be walked through basically what I walked through at the beginning of this video. If you need an emergency response, call 911. Your phone will take care of determining whether or not you can use cellular Wi-Fi connection or if you need to move to the satellite connection. You'll also answer a few different questions. At the end of that, you'll see a screen like this that lets you know that you're about to turn on the satellite demo, which requires that cellular and Wi-Fi are turned off in order for the phone to connect to satellites. So I'm gonna hit test satellite connection, turn off, and you'll get a screen like this letting you know that your phone is looking for a satellite and to make sure that you are in a clear line of sight with the sky. So on the screen now, I have this circle that shows up as I rotate the phone. It lets me know which way I need to point the top of the phone in order to maintain a connection to the satellite. So as I was doing that, you saw a green connection pop up. The satellite was connected to, I'm actually truly connected to a satellite right now, and then I can begin communicating with the satellite. So right now it is sending the original mock in this case emergency message so i am lost or trapped uh, they sent the information of my questionnaire as well as my medical id and my location and then i'm going to be walked through what exactly is going on um, in the conversation from here on out so right now it's asking me as an example what where is my location i'm going to put on top of a mountain i was hiking I wasn't joking, I was hiking. So this works just like it does an iMessage or a text message conversation on the iPhone. So I've typed it in here. It's telling me that um, I have lost connection to the satellite because of course, when I want to re record a video, I am running into all the issues, but I can hit send and then it's telling me to turn left. And now, hmm, look at that, the satellite moved. Again, these things are 850 miles above the earth. They're moving at a pretty good pace as well. So it is trying to lock onto a signal. And so far, it is not having any luck. Oh, we're connected and it is now sending. Takes anywhere from 30 to 45 seconds um, at the high end I've seen to send a message. Again, I'm really truly connected to a satellite right now and communicating with it. And then once this message goes through, I'll get a message back. And you can do this as many times as you like in the demo mode to get a good feel for how the process works. Obviously the satellite just moved on me. I was pointing over there a minute ago and had full signal. I lost it while waiting for the response and composing my new message. So I had to lock onto a new satellite. This is a good experience for anyone who has an iPhone 14. I, I think anyone should run through this a few times just so you get an idea of how this process works and what to expect should you end up in an emergency situation. All right, so I did get a couple messages back, letting me once again know this is just a demo um, and walking me through how this all works and then asking what caused the breakdown. I'm not gonna reply to this one. I'm just gonna hit end and end the demo itself. Hopefully though, you never have to use emergency SOS via satellite. It's a feature that nobody ever really wants to use but take a few minutes to learn how to use it by going through the demo and get familiar with it. That way you can save yourself, maybe someone else, if you absolutely have to. Once again, I'm Jason Cipriani. Thanks for watching this ZDNet how-to video. Make sure to check out more tech news and tech tips just like this one at ZDNet.com.